and welcome to Armadillo Comics, and today I'm going to be looking at the um, Spawn comics that I own, and uh, telling you if there's anything special about these. So, I think I have five. So, first up is Spawn number four, and so this is the first cover appearance of the Violator. This also has a poster in it. And it still has the um, coupon for Image Comics number zero in it. So, next is spawn number six. This is the first appearance of Overt Kill. And this also has a poster in it. Here is Spawn number 8. This one was written by Alan Moore. Mo the, most of the issues are written by Todd McFarlane. But this one here, number 8, was written by Alan Moore. Has the cover that's a homage to uh, Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man number 1. This, I believe, is the first appearance of Billy Kinclaid as a Spawn. And... Also, I think this is the first appearance of the Vindicator, which is the Violator's brother. So that's spawn number 8. Here's spawn number 10. Like spawn number 8, they got a different writer for this one. So this one was written by Dave Sim, and as you can see, it has a Dave Sim Cerebus in it. Oh, also, spawn number 8 has a poster in it, too. Anyway... Spawn number 10 is written by Dave Sim. And then the last one here is Spawn number 12. It has a bit of a crossover with uh, Chapel and uh, Rob Liefeld's Youngblood comics. And there's like the Chapel skull on the cover. And this is also both the first appearance of Jason Wynn and Grandma Blake. And this has a poster in it as well. So, that is my Spawn Comics collection as of now. And yes, yeah, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So there you go. Those are the Spawn Comics I have. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to Armadillo Comics. And thanks for watching.